Hey, what is going on guys? So you have a iPhone 11. I'm going to show you the easiest way to take a screenshot. I'm also going to show you how to take a screenshot of a entire web page or part of a web page, okay? So the easiest way to take a screenshot, 90% of you guys will be doing it this way. It's a two key combination. It's the power button and the volume up button. So you just want to go ahead and press and hold these two buttons. Just press in really fast at the same time. Like that. Like that. I didn't say press and hold because if you press and hold the power off menu will pop up also every screenshot that you take like this will automatically save into your photos gallery and you can go ahead and swipe that away if you wish I'll take another screenshot here we can go ahead and tap this and from here you can go ahead and you can edit it you can go ahead and crop it here you can click on the plus sign we can add text signature magnifier on here as well so I'll go ahead and save that right there save it to photos and now if I simply go ahead and look in my photos gallery here and then from here and then from here you can simply you can just tap on uh, albums here like that and then all the screenshots I just took is going to be under recent but also there's another folder that was created called screenshots so if I tap on screenshots you can see all the screenshots that I've taken and this was my last screenshot right here now I'm going to show you guys how to take a screenshot of an entire web page, okay? So for example, if, if we go ahead and uh, open up a web page here, and you want to go ahead and take a screenshot of this entire web page or part of it, just with uh, one screenshot, what we got to do is go ahead and take a screenshot right now, volume up, power. Now we got to tap on this. Now we have another option here because we're able to scroll down. You have full page here, so I can tap on full page like that and now if I didn't want to do the entire page here you can always tap on crop and then you can go ahead and crop to like however much you want and then we can click on done and now from here I mean you can still edit too you can go ahead and write down oops you can go ahead and write whatever you wish on here and then from here we can go ahead and click on done now take note it says save PDF to files okay so I'm going to go ahead and tap on Save PDF to Files. This is not going to save into my Photos Gallery. I'm not sure why iPhone made it confusing. Anyways, and then right here, you can save it to your iCloud Drive into the folders here. Or I'm just going to save mine directly to my uh, iPhone here. And then you can rename uh, this screenshot here, whatever you wish as well. I'm going to keep it at the default. I'm going to click on Save. And now the thing is, it's not going to show up in your photos. you got to go into your files app okay so tap tap on files and that last one should be the first top one left here it was called screenshot and you can see this article I just took a screenshot so pretty simple any questions comment below thanks for watching guys